Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? My name is Donna and I am here for a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Look at that, the split on the deck is the Four of Wands, that's marriage energy. And it looks as though we have a big surprise. So we have the Tower cards. It'll be interesting to see what is going on in the love lives of our Libra friends. So let's take a look. Cut the deck three times here and see what we have. Okay, at the bottom of the deck now, oh, we have the Four of Wands again, even though I cut. Okay. So the energy that is in your heart space at the heart of the reading right now, we have the Ten of Coins. So you may be married to somebody or you're looking for a relationship that may lead to marriage. We have the Page of Cups. So somebody who's coming in is a bit of a lightweight here in, um, to you. So I would say that your love interest may be younger than you. They seem a little bit more emotional than you, Libra. We see you slow walking this relationship. In the recent past, we have you thinking, being very aloof, very intellectual, staying cool, calm, and collected. You're watching to see if this person is going to give equally, equal give and take in the relationship, what they bring to the table. The Ace of Swords, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Oh, I like it. Oh, Libra, look at it. You have the King of Cups, that Scorpio energy. So we have Scorpio, Pisces, a Virgo, Virgo, um, Taurus, Aquarius, and now Scorpio King. The Scorpio King is how you love Libra. It's in the position that represents you. And so you probably have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. We are seeing that you're in this mood of like being very calm, very serene. You're keeping your feelings sort of locked inside. You're taking a wait and see attitude. The Five of Coins. The person you're dealing with or the situation is saying that somebody's been left in the cold, somebody's locked out. Now what's interesting though is it's an illusion because there's a big key, there's a key, you know, there's a place to put the key right here and this person is so busy looking down, sort of very, in a very immature way in many ways because the solution is right there and they don't see it. The issue at hand that you fear is that this person may be uh, entertaining other options. They may not be dating you exclusively, so that's part of what you're concerned about. Yep, and juggling too. So I would say that you're probably right about the fact that they're not dating exclusively. Now, for those of you who are married, the answer is obvious. This is not cool, can't go on. But for those of you who are ready for a very abundant relationship with somebody who's very mature, this is definitely problematic, right? So let's look and see what the Seven Energies Oracle cards have for you in terms of information before we clarify the reading and dig deeper, dig more deeply into this energy and see what's happening for you. Let's see, we have a merry motive. Well, somebody wants to have a good time. There's nothing wrong with having a good time, if we're honest, right? <laughs> so, a merry mode of beautiful starry nights. It looks very romantic. Oh, great big love. Who would have thought from the original spread of cards? So this has the potential, what we see, and you can see this, Libra, because you're coming in with this energy. This relationship has the potential to be a fabulous love relationship for you. Uh, as long as you can vet this person and make sure that they're honest and that whatever your fears are, whatever, you know, immature actions they're taking are not going to result in a bad outcome. Grand Symphony. Gorgeous. Okay. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for you at this time, Libra. Why do we have the Ten of Coins here for our Libra friends in the current situation? The other option is you might be married to someone else and fantasizing about another, but that is not my business. My business is to present you with a good reading. So let's see, Hierophant card. Again, very focused on marriage. Very focused on marriage. So. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. 
we have the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Page of Cups is here. The Queen of Wands is here. So it does look like somebody who has a lot of capacity to boss up is being a lightweight in the relationship. So this person really is very capable. They look like they make good money. Uh, you may be dealing with somebody who's married. They may be juggling you, and you may be very much in love with them and waiting to see what the outcome is. But let's see here. The Justice card, okay. So this really looks like there's a divorce. So for many of you, you are getting a divorce. You are, um, you're either, or you're with somebody who's getting a divorce. Somebody who you feel you can't talk to right now. The Queen of Cups energy says that both of you love each other very much. The Wheel of Fortune waiting for, you know, Spirit to turn the destiny wheel in your favor, and that is happening. The judgment, judgment of divorce. So what I'm seeing here for you so far, for those with whom this resonates, is that you are in love with somebody who um, you didn't plan to be in love with. <laughs> it just shows that this was definitely an unplanned love. Uh, what we see here is that you're trying to look at things from a different perspective in the recent past. We see that you have the strength and the self-reliance to move forward steadily and with a lot of wisdom. We also see the infinity symbol. You'll probably always love this person. You may have loved this person for a long time, but it does look like the justice card means the filing of paperwork. The judgment is usually the release of a relationship. So you or your person could be out of a marriage recently. Uh, let's see what we have for the six of coins. Equal give and take. Yeah, there was an equal give and take. So what we see is a death and rebirth for your life. So one relationship has ended, another relationship is starting, and the reason that you most likely left the person you were with is because they weren't carrying their weight. The Ace of Swords, why is it here? Seven of Swords, somebody lied to you. They lied big time and they lied a number of times. This person looks as though they played mind games. They played fast and loose with the truth. You felt as though they were your best friend, and for some of you, it would mean that they could have made a pass. They could have made a pass at your best friend, so I don't really like that energy. What we're seeing also is the King of Cups energy for you. You felt this person was going to be your best friend. For some of you, you could maintain a friendship for the sake of family. It does look like most of you will get along with this person but you're no longer invested in them, and that's what they feel. Your person feels very devastated that you are no longer invested. This is you not being invested. So it really speaks to the fact that you have choices now. So the switch has flipped where they had options and they did things before that were, you know, under wraps. It looks as though you freed yourself from the situation of the player energy. Yep. You don't want it. It is your fear. You're not interested in it. You don't want to be juggled. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles here for Libra? Aha. Uh -huh. Oops. Hold on. There it is. Okay. There. The very bottom. Three of Wands. Look at that. Your ships have come in. That means that you have been, you've chosen somebody, you've moved forward very rapidly, and it looks like you have a communication with somebody in your work environment. It's for a new relationship. So let's look and see what your best course of action is. Um, we're going to look at this Oracle deck. What is your best course of action? Because I'm seeing that you are content. I'm seeing that you're happy. I feel as though the worst is over by far. Most of you who have been recently divorced or are getting a divorce are pretty content. Horned cactus resourcefulness. So we're seeing here, Libra, that you're going to have a new love coming in in the near future, even though you left one, because remember, the death card is always, where is it? Yep. The death card is always death and rebirth. And we see this great big love. So for some of you, you would have left your relationship for someone else. But it looks as though you are going to have the ride of the century. You are manifesting. What we're seeing here is the energy of someone around you. 
uh, being dishonest. But let's look and see what the Fairy of the Heart Oracle says about the deception. What, what do you need to know about this person? of two minds. Sometimes they didn't know what to tell you, they wanted to please you, they didn't want to lie to you, but it does tell you that they were not very clear about what they wanted. The Prince of Light is coming in to help you. Beautiful energy with the Prince of Light. Really somebody, your new lover, will be someone who's very sweet, very spiritual, and the returning to your happiness, Libra. Gorgeous energy. I'm going to leave it there for you. It looks as though you're on your way to a brand new love relationship in which you will be very happy. The person will be very honest and you will grow in love and enjoy a happiness that you haven't had in a long time. I'm not going to take this to the extent of sending you love, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.